So it's going out now. When's it due back in again later? Is that quarter to eight tonight? Yeah, all right.
Big shout out to my best, best buddy, brother, Nick. Oh, shush. That seagull was uh, wanting to say thanks to Nick as well. Um, yeah, it was just an amazing gift from my best buddy. And um, his mum, Pam, who watches my channel. So big shout out to Pam. Hi, Pam. Really hope you're well. And I love the way she watches my videos or you watch my videos, Pam, I should say. I really hope you're well. Um, and yeah, that's so, lo so lovely. I I'm really chuffed about that. Um, God, blimey, will you shut up? Oh, bless it. I'm on, I'm on that seagull's beach so i shouldn't be telling it to shut up he's probably telling me to shut up but there you go anyway so anyway the drone here it is it's the first time i've actually had a go and um you, you're gonna have to um i'll put a little clip up and um, but the trouble is they're really susceptible to wind and when i first got here i thought wow there is no wind at all It'd be perfect but honestly the minute i started flying it it's, it just gets a bit spooky when it starts you know you fight when it when the wind takes it away and you're kind of controlling it to come back and it starts to drift away and that's <laughs> that's really scary but even so i got a few shots so i might i don't know if i'll put the actual videography up Take two, <laughs> that was funny. Literally press record and then the phone rings. Uh, and the phone is ringing uh, from both of my mates, uh, Tony and Paul, who are uh, just setting off from the Midlands to come and join me. So the first place I thought when I knew I was gonna just, I had to get in Renee and um, get a few days away in the sunshine. The first place I thought was somewhere that I have been to a long time before and it's here in North Wales and it's a place called Port Maddock and it's known as Black Rock Sands. See, I arrived yesterday. I took a lot of footage with the 360. So this is actually day two. Um, I came out on my own. Uh, like I said, Tony and Paul are on the way to join me, but they had both, both had commitments yesterday. Do I regret spending quite a large sum of money on an old 2007 vehicle. No. So, so chuffed. Um, I have spent a bit on it. Um, I think I did go into that. I did elaborate a bit when I first got the van. I was very excited. When I look back on the videos now of when I first got this, you can see my excitement. <laughs> so um, I've had it sort of about three or four months now. But I think the most important thing to say is, because I've had a few people contact me about, um, with who have also had thoughts about getting a van. The first thing I'll say is, it is a big, big decision to make, because I can't afford to run a car. I had to get rid of my car to get Renee. Okay, so does that make sense? No car now, just a big van. And things you have to consider, road tax, this is because it's an old girl, she's 300 quid a year to tax, a lot of money. Uh, obviously insurance and the way insurance premiums are all going up but you know i mean i'm over, over 50 you'd never believe it i know oh here come the raf doing a bit of oh i was hoping to see a few hawks or whatever yeah believe it or not i'm over 50 so the insurance i'm actually over 55 there you go um so insurance wasn't too bad but obviously the premiums will go up a little bit um and economy that's the other thing is uh not going to be amazing is it on a vehicle like this i've still shock horror haven't actually worked it out but um it's not as bad as all that but the big deciding factor for me to really get rid of my car and get the van is i'm really lucky i live and work in the same town so my ambulance station is a five minute bike ride so i just get on my bike now so i'm not using this to commute so that makes a big difference if you're thinking of buying a van having to get rid of your car and you're commuting to work consider the costs involved the uh the you know the fuel economy and diesel sadly is creeping up again and looking more longer term diesel are we going to get more and more 
crucified for using diesel because obviously it's being phased out so all things to consider but the plus side there's the few negatives the plus as you can see this is well and truly lived in now <laughs> it, um, it's just so so versatile it, it's just fantastic um i'll do a little walk around again if you remember i've built my own units and um <laughs> i think yeah i won't keep just going on and on about it but i am no carpenter but they serve a purpose that's all i'm gonna say and uh i built that unit and i built this unit and there's a couple of extra bits here as well so uh, there's my bin always a must have a bin uh, a spare light bits and pieces there tools i do need to secure that on there and i've had all the electrics done so again more expense but i think it was money well paid out yes there's loads of youtube videos uh, showing you how to put in a leisure battery and blah 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 but i paid a guy and he has set me up so light wise now electrical wise i'm, I'm absolutely buzzing i'm completely self-sufficient and off grid now because dare i say it this is the Bluetti, uh, or Blue Tit, as my mate likes to call it, um, which I bought all singing, dancing. Um, and I'm afraid I was a little bit premature thinking, there you go, that's all I need. That's so not the case, I'm afraid. One of the beauties of coming out somewhere like this on a hot day is this. It's to have a fridge. And when I bought this fridge, there was no hope that Bluetti would run it for a couple of hours, two or three hours. It's just not powerful enough. Um, and that's when I realized I really am going to need some form of leisure battery. So, as I say, um, as you, if you follow me into here, my little sugar plum, uh, here we go. Right, there's the toilet. Always, that's again, people laugh at that and think, oh, but honestly, what a godsend that is to have. It really is. And it's tucked away and hidden, as you can see. Um, but anyway, so this is the, this is connected to, my solar panel, which is fantastic. So I've got a solar panel trickle charge going on to, um, let's come down here and show you. And there, tucked away is my leisure battery and oh, I'll keep this torch here because it's easier to see and as you can see there my battery the solar charge is currently charging as it will because it's a lovely hot sunny day lots of sunshine but also the big big difference for me is I've had a splitter fitted so I've now got a uh, connection from the alternator and the engine running to my leisure battery as well so I really genuinely am off grid that leisure battery technically is going to stay fully charged the whole time and any excess power or whatever it's getting a trickle charge off my solar panel as well it's just so not I didn't really realize I kind of thought oh I'll be fine you know just use my camping torches and my little lanterns and stuff but you better just turn a button and have nice bright light in the back of the van when it's really dark is, is really fantastic. I didn't realize how good it was. And like I said, this is my fridge. Um, lots of nice goodies in there and, and being able to obviously have cold beers when you're on the beach, it's really good as well. So yeah, um, what else have I done? Not really, I've put up a couple of really cheap rate curtains. They're, they're just old linen lying around. They're not even proper curtains, but I've put up the pole um put up another pole here which i do need to uh, strengthen that a little bit but these are my uh it's nice to have a choice of coats so you're always never caught short without coats um and then also people ask about the obviously that is the width i'm a lot taller than that but what i've done it's all put away at the moment but i've got an extension um it is just a board basically it's not like one of these posh sort of you know in, interchanging sort of thing but it is just an extension of board which i run from there onto here and i've put a couple of brackets so it doesn't slip so then i can lie completely fully lengthways um so yeah because obviously that is you know eagle uh, eagle-eyed good months to you I, I can't lie straight out on there um but it's lovely just to cozy sort of sit in there and curl up and just look out the back which i've done on many occasions so uh yeah all good uh, music wise the stereo system on here wasn't amazing if I'm brutally honest but it occurred to me I, I really do as a lot of us do like decent quality music 
and I bought a pair of um, not, not the most enticing brand name they're called Bogusing <laughs> but um, there we go there's a pair of them and now I've got decent stereo sound which uh, obviously just goes straight from my phone directly to them and the beauty of these moving around is when I'm driving I just have them in the parcel shelf uh, and then obviously when I'm out like this I'll put them in the back and uh, just have really good quality music um, and put the speakers wherever I like so I, I do like decent quality sound life is all good with Renee it's really good to be back it's good to chat again um, like I said apologies for not much content I have been out and about doing little various little short videos uh, and days out uh, and I've also done a couple of reviews of pubs because another thing that I've been doing is uh, I think a lot of pubs are just jumping on the, 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 the bandwagon of letting sort of people overnight in their car park for free in return for them spending a bit of money in their bar or having a meal in the bar and that kind of makes sense so I've joined like a social media group um, and put up a couple of reviews of a couple of different pubs um, and that's what Tony and uh, Paul that are coming out we normally just meet up now so it's like three guys with vans three vans just gets you away from the hustle bustle of life and excuse to have a couple of beers and a catch up and use your van as well in all its glory as a, as a camper just one other thing with reference to the van and how it's changed my life really that sounds so dramatic but it's kind of true is it's so impulsive nothing going on telly i think what i'm just going to go and jump in my van and i drive off and i'm very lucky because i do live in the beat district so i have some incredibly beautiful places very close by to where i live you know literally within a 15 20 minute drive and i find myself quite often just going out just parking up and uh just getting the back doors open like this and just sitting in the back or lying in the back just staring at the view listening to nice soft music or just appreciating the birds the silence whatever it may be um, and I cannot recommend that enough another cracking night so we're like one sand bank away from the uh, from the beach just the other side of those dunes so we've got Renee Paul's van Tony's VW and there's a hive of activity so let's do a tour of the kitchen shall we so Tony what have we got here bloody hell there's a lot there <laughs> yeah, I think you might need to help me. I reckon I'll manage. This is, this is Nazi Goering, sort of a Gurkha sort of rice. Just add a few red peppers and some onion. Mix it up. We've got some, hopefully if I haven't burnt them, we've got some... Oh, look at that. Some miniature lamb breads. Yeah, yeah. And we've got some curry in there to go on the top. Man, so, all good, all good. 
And Paul is just having boiled potatoes. <laughs> uh, not well. Come on then. Uh, Let's fillet see. steak, asparagus, oh, new asparagus. potatoes, uh, and I've made some shawarma butter Whoa. this morning. And then me, who doesn't cook at all, there you go, uh, some chicken with some Aldi Balti sauce. That's as far as it goes with me, I'm afraid. But hey, hive of activity. And we've all decided that this is just the dog's bollocks tonight. This is like literally being abroad. It's just fantastic. So here's Tony's. Here we go. It's coming a bit closer. Oh man, that looks really good. It's all right, we'll it? save the piece of resistance till last, so I'll do my cheapo Aldi curry. I'm happy with that. I'm uh, quite hungry, so in fairness, he is an ex-chef. <laughs> that looks good. Bon appetit, gentlemen. Mm, thank you. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>